everyone. Jen Samuel here with Elephants DC. I have honored guests with me today, including Senator Raymond Lesniak, who championed the complete ivory and rhino horn sales ban in New Jersey, and also banned the import of so-called trophies of endangered species, and also outlawed uh, elephants in the circus. I have a few remarks, and we're gonna have a moment of silence, and we have very distinguished speakers here today. At the dawn of the 19th century, there were 20 million African elephants roaming the continent. By 1910, humans have reduced the population to half, 10 million. Today, it is estimated that the population of elephants is less than 300,000. National Geographic reported 100,000 elephants were killed between 2010 and 2012. Every day, there are 100 less elephants than the day before. In 2016, Botswana became a beacon of hope for the worldwide struggle to save elephants from extinction. Botswana joined Kenya and Gabon on the world stage as CITES, calling for full Appendix 1 restoration for all African elephants. Unfortunately, America failed you. To the dismay of millions of citizens around the world, the United States joined suit with Russia, China, North Korea, Japan, and the European Union to vote against fully protecting elephants at CITES. This was a tragedy for the people of Africa and the elephants as a whole. Since then, leadership has changed in Botswana. At present, the leaders in the government of Botswana have aligned themselves with trophy hunters from the east and west, hoping to pay to kill elephants in your country. It has been vastly reported that Botswana has become a refuge for African elephants fleeing ivory poachers in places like Sudan, Mozambique, and Tanzania. Now, 272 elephants are slated to be unnecessarily killed by high-paying trophy hunters. This is not a solution. Killing elephants is wrong on universal grounds of morality. These are not Botswana's elephants. They are African elephants. They are family-oriented. Elephants are empathetic. They are gentle in nature. They are kind. Killing even just one member of an elephant family has horrific effects on the entire herd. And trophy hunters do not just kill old male elephants, but also the matriarchs, even the pregnant ones. The birth of an elephant is a spectacular occasion. And I'm going to finish my remarks at the end to give the permit to the police. For everyone here with us and everyone who's watching this, we're now going to partake in a moment of silence. I'm so sad that I have to be here today to, to fight for uh, elephants justice, to fight for my generation and that, that comes after us. It's really sad to see Botswana doing such a decision, not even thinking about my generation and all of us, you know. Elephants need their voices to be heard. We all need to do something about it, you know. We cannot, like, just disregard, yeah, rather than taking good care of them and giving out license 272 to just see elephants being slaughtered just for money. Yet communities are suffering, people are suffering, yeah. What is the rationale to do all that? Safari club is not the solution. African elephants need African solution. We call upon our president, you know, like, please listen to the voices of the people who are saying, don't kill our elephants, do something about it, you know. There are so many ways to deal with human wildlife conflict rather than killing them is not the solution. Work with community, look at ecosystem services, so many ways, open up dispersal areas, work with different stakeholders, don't just look at one side. Money has never been a solution. Capitalism has never been a solution to everything that we are going through. You know? <laughs> so we are here championing and fighting for their life. I have to be like justice for our wildlife and we are hoping that they will get to listen for my generation and for the sake of the generation that comes after her. I'm saying that it's a shame for any African leader to accept accolades from a group like Safari Club International that are only interested in playing colonial sports with our heritage and our future, which are our wildlife. To them, wildlife are just mere trophies, but to us, wildlife are ecological treasures and an inheritance for the future generations of Africa and the rest of the world. So trophy hunting serves no ecological purpose. It serves no economic purpose, even for the communities that live 
to this wildlife. Trophy hunting denies them the opportunity to earn from ethical tourism, which is a better and more scientific way of doing conservation in Africa. So I stand here today with my brothers and sisters, Americans and my fellow Kenyan, to say that Botswana, it is a shame that you have allowed your treasures to be plundered by people who care not about what happens to those elephants. For people who claim to be doing it for conservation, why don't they donate their monies to conservation, to conserve these elephants? But instead, they want to pleasure themselves in shooting these animals for no apparent gain. So we stand here today to condemn the actions and the sale of our elephants to people who care less about them. I'd like to read uh, a message by a woman named Katrine Kepper in the New Atlantis, why Burke Smith is getting a song ready. The birth of an elephant is a spectacular occasion. Grandmothers, aunts, sisters, and cousins crowd around the new arrival and its day's mother trumpeting and stamping and waving their trunks to welcome the floppy baby elephant who has so recently arrived from out of this world, out of the void, bursting through the border of existence to take its place in an unbroken line, stretching back to the dawn of life. The beauty of life, these are my words, is not death. Our true humanity as people is not the killing, but rising to create a beloved community, as Martin Luther King Jr. said, with grace, justice, hope, to love one another, regardless of race, class, or even least of all, one species. So today I want to remind everyone that God put elephants on earth long before us humans. And if anything, we're encroaching on their territory, not vice versa. To Botswana President Masasi, I say and pray that you put an end to your love affair with the Safari Club and the auctioning off of 272 permits lined with the blood of elephants. And while we're here in our nation's capital, we also call upon Congress to ban the importation of trophies of endangered species into the United States as we have done in the state of New Jersey. And to join with civilized countries across the globe to restore all African elephants to Appendix 1 of the Multilateral Treaty Cites. To protect endangered animals and plants and follow New Jersey's lead and ban all transactions in ivory and rhino horns. <laughs> all killing for entertainment is contrary to God's will. It brings out the worst in human beings. Simply put, it is cruel and inhumane. As Pope Francis has stated, our indifference or cruelty towards fellow creatures of this world sooner or later affects the treatment we mete out to other human beings. We have only one heart, and the same wretchedness which leads us to mistreat an animal will not be long in showing itself in our relations with other human beings. Every act of cruelty towards any creature is contrary to human dignity. I say to President Trump, you present yourself as a God-fearing leader, a God-fearing Christian, then follow the word of God and end your support of trophy hunting. The Bible tells us that the sign of a righteous man is that he takes care of his animals. Psalm 147.9 tells us that God is concerned for all his creation, including the animals he created. We can take from scripture that if God takes care of animals, so should we. If following God's will doesn't move President Trump in Congress, this should. Poaching in Africa is funding terrorist groups. U.S. Trade Representative Michael Foreman told a news conference at Kennedy International Airport. He said such illegal trade is a threat to global, global security because it's driven by criminal elements. Terrorists using profits from items such as rhinoceros horns and elephant tusks to finance their activities. So the President Trump 
overcome, whether you believe in following God's will, or curb, curb your funding of terrorists, or both. The time is now to end trophy hunting permits for endangered species and bad transactions in ivory and rhino horns. Let your conscience be your guide. Thank you.